It is Sunday. We're supposed to be getting snow soon, but it's been pretty good so far here at Rhode Island Parrot Rescue. Um, I want you to meet a very special bird that we've had at our facility for... <laughs> <laughs> She's little, waving. <laughs> a little, um, I don't know how long we've had her, a couple months, um, a month or two. Uh, her name is Shibli. We can get in closer, get her little foot. So if you can see, she's got no fingers on one of her feet. Yep. And then, oh, good girl, Shibli. Um, another thing about Shibli, and we're not going to show you, obviously, because we'll spare you the grossness, but she is prolapsed. Um, in case you do not know what prolapsing is, um, it means that the inside of her cloaca has been pushed out and it stays out. So it's a little gross, it's a little stinky. She just kind of drips poopy. Um, but we wanted you to know Chibli was here because this Giving Tuesday, which is in two days, December 3rd, we are raising funds and part of those funds are going to be going towards her vet care. We will be um, give, putting her through surgery, um, I believe, to fix her prolapse. Um, we have had experience with um, quite a few different birds that have prolapsed in the past. Uh, surgery doesn't always seem to work. She has had one in the past before with her previous owners. Um, so we're also going to try to find the reason why she's prolapsing and see if we can kind of get to the root of the cause. Um, she's not showing her, she's only showing her good side right now, but uh, if she turns her head, you'll be able to see she has a deformed beak. Um, she can eat perfectly fine, but um, yeah, we it, it's like caved in on the left side and the bottom of it is kind of sideways and inside her tongue is a little bit sideways too. Um, so Chablis, you want to switch sides here. So Chablis gets daily showers and that's because she is a messy, messy bird. Um, like I said, she has a prolapse. So she kind of just drips poop. Um, we deep clean her cage every single day. Um, she gets it in her her hair, her head, on her head. So we wash her head, we wash her down. Um, I'll show you how I clean her head off. <laughs> she just started letting me do this. It's super cute. Uh, okay. Hi. Are you ready? Hi, Shelly. Hi. There we go. So, you know, we wash your head off. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then about once a week, we've been giving her a bath in the sink and we get all the poop off of her tail. Um, if any of you guys, like I said, are familiar with the prolapsed bird, they have no control over their bowels. So we have to trim her up down there and make sure she's not getting, you know, stuck. Uh, poopy stuck in there and it gets pretty gross. Um, so, um, sorry, I got a text in the middle of the live feed. Go figure. Um, hi, Chibli. Come here. Come over here. Come see me. She gets meds twice a day. She, um, let me make sure I'm pronouncing this right. She gets Sylvadine cream on her prolapse once a day and she gets pain meds twice a day. Um, a very low dose. Um, she's going to need ongoing extensive vet care because of her issue. She's only, I think, about 14 years old. So she's pretty young. Um, and she might have a deformed beak. She might have all the toes missing on one of her feet. But she is definitely uh, got a full personality. She doesn't act like she's got a disability at all. Um, I just wanted everybody to meet her because I absolutely adore her. Shibli, come here. Why are you up there? Come here. Come over here. Let's see if we can get her to come down. Shibli, come here. She gets around her cage just fine. Um, I actually put in a shelf for her at first and she didn't use it. So today I actually took it out because she was just pooping on it. Here she comes. <laughs> Ew. Hi, 
see that poopy butt. I see the poopy butt. Hi. Okay. There we go. Can I finish your, can I finish your? Yeah, you got poop on your head. Thank you. Here, you still have it in your cup. Let me see. So yeah, she um, she's a really good bird. Um, but she does need special care. Hi. <laughs> she does need special care. She needs to be bathed daily. Um and extra bathe. She needs to be groomed, basically. Um, but we are raising funds this Giving Tuesday. We have a fundraiser going. Our end goal is $5,000, and with your support, we can easily reach that goal. Um, I know we have over 10,000 followers on Facebook, so just imagine if just every single follower donated $1, that's $10,000. Um, we are planning on giving her a surgery to fix her prolapse, um, but you know, once her vet visit goes through and we need to see what the vet says on for the future of her care. So she could be a very expensive vet journey. Uh, she could have a very expensive jet, uh, vet journey ahead of her. Um, however, she has charmed us all with her personality and her little, we call it her little drumstick. I know that's horrible, but she waves her little drumstick and she's like, hello. And she has a cute little baby voice. Um, yeah, she still has poopy in her hair. Come here, baby. I'm just trying to get you clean, girl. I'm just trying to get you clean, girl. So, Chablis is not on the main floor. Um, and that is just because we want to keep her mess contained. Um, She's not up for adoption yet. We want to get the vet looking. Oh, she has already been seen by a vet, but in terms of her prolapse issue, we want to get that under control too. Um, but hopefully in the future, we can find someone for her that will treat her like the little baby that she is and be able to give her a bath every day and um, take care of her medical needs. She's the sweetest little thing. Huh, you're just the sweetest little thing. She's such a good girl. She loves cashews and she loves AV cakes. Um, so yes, this December 3rd on Facebook, we are raising funds. Don't forget to donate um, if you can. If you don't have a Facebook and you somehow hear of our message, um, either through our newsletter, um, through your email, um, you can always donate through our site as well, riparrots.org. Um, I can't just um, we can also accept donations via our website, and of course, we always accept donations the old-fashioned way through the mail. Um, our address is 2141 West Shore Road in Warwick, Rhode Island, 02889. Um, sorry, I thought I said that backwards for a minute. What, you did the photo? Um, yeah, we're... We're always accepting donations, but specifically this Giving Tuesday, it's made for nonprofits to help raise money for charities. Um, and I hope you do consider Rhode Island Parrot Rescue um, this Tuesday because we have a lot of little souls here, like Shibli, who is the most precious thing in the world. I might be a little bit biased because I love cockatoos, but I think she's one of the most precious little souls I've ever met. Um, but we really do need your help. Um, and we can't do what we're doing without you. We can't take on challenges like Shibli without your support. So, um, this is Shibli. You'll be seeing her a lot more now that you guys have been formally introduced. I have a lot of videos I've been waiting to share with you guys of her. Sorry. <laughs> I hear a bird in the background talking in a really cute voice. <laughs> you see, birds are so great. Yeah. And they should support us. Can you wave again? Can you wave again? I'm sorry if I said on oh, a million times. I'm really bad at live videos. Okay, well we're gonna be signing off. Um, I don't wanna repeat myself too much, but 
consider us this Tuesday, December 3rd, um, and think of little Shibli because we're gonna need to be putting her through some extensive vet care very soon. Shibli, what do you think? You wanna say bye-bye? Shibli, can you say bye-bye? Shibli, where's that little foot? You're not gonna wave? Now you're not gonna wave? All righty. All right, Shibli. Oh, look at that little face. Hi. You still got poopy face. Come here. Come here. Let me get it. Let me get it. <laughs> so this is Shibli. You'll be seeing a lot more of her. Think of me this Tuesday. Yay!